I'm trying to find the best way to convince everyone that you need to prioritize your health over the taste of food. Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Blowing Health Moments with Violet. I'm Violet. The reason I make these videos is to help you guys to understand that your mental health and physical health come together to create that overall sense of well-being. If you think these kind of videos are helpful, please consider subscribing. Whenever I look in my comments, I'm constantly noticing that people are either really enthusiastic about what I've said, or I get those comments that are trying to convince me that there's space. There's space for junk food. There's space for high carb. That it's, it's not possible to live a low carb lifestyle forever. It's not possible to do keto forever. And I want to take a moment today to talk about some of the different ideas that I've been given, whether in my comments, in person, just like in conversations with people about why we should be eating more sugar than I talk about. Because I talk about keto, 20 grams of carbs or less. This is what I talk about. But I'll get the idea, but it's my birthday. Any birthday, Christmas, Halloween, any occasion that we've created in this world to give us an excuse to eat some sweet stuff, to celebrate with food, I need you to stop and think about the fact that it's something that we created. If we go back 7,000 years, we didn't have cake on our birthday. As a matter of fact, we probably didn't even know when it was our birthday. We just went forward another year and it was like, yep, I'm still alive, yay, right? I think this idea that because some event happens, I need to celebrate with something sweet tasting or some, not even, it doesn't even have to be sweet tasting, some junky food. Because sometimes it's a poutine. Um, sometimes it's a pizza. Sometimes it's it's a burger and fries. And, and what I don't understand is if it's gonna be my intention to celebrate with food, I don't, I don't endorse that. But if that's what I'm going to do, why wouldn't I celebrate with a steak or a lovely salad with like, you know, nice, he, nice fat dressing? Or why wouldn't I celebrate with food that I know that's going to help me to be healthier and move forward and live longer? Why would I celebrate with that? Somehow my birthday has become a reason to eat food that we know isn't healthy. And how do we know it isn't healthy? Well, because all the rest of the year when we do eat that. So if I have cake or I have chips or I have other times in the year, it's considered junk food. But for some reason on my birthday, I'm I, right. The other idea that I'll get is why well, I did well this week. You know, I, I, I did well this month. So I deserve to have this treat. I want to ask people and I want you to be super honest. If you did really well in saving money that you were trying to save money for, and let's say a house, and so this month you did really well and you saved $3,000. Would you say, well, because I did really well and I saved $3,000, I'm going to take $1,500 and blow it away on, on a stupidity. You wouldn't do that, right? Because the whole point of saving to buy the house is eventually to buy the house. Why are you eating well? When you say I did well this week, I, did, I was really good this week. What does that actually mean to you? Are you eating well so that you can then eat poorly? Or are you eating well because you're trying to improve your health? Are you eating well because you're trying to solve some kind of metabolic issue? You're trying to lose weight? Like what's your reason, your real true reason for trying to eat well? Because if you stop and think about what your true reason is, how does eating this junk food right now actually accomplish that goal? So the other thing that I'll hear a lot of is we all have to live, right? Like. If we're not eating, we're not living. What about all those people out there who have food allergies, who can't eat these specific things that you're talking about? What about all the people who don't have the money to afford these foods? I don't understand why eating something has become the definition of living. I thought living was doing activities, being with people, engaging. All of a sudden, for some reason, if I'm unable to eat some specific food, I'm not living. And I really feel like there are so many people that would benefit from changing this mindset and understanding that food is fuel and we eat fuel to give our body the energy to then go out and do activities and engage with people. And when I separate those things now and say that I'm going to see food as fuel, then 
am I eating because it's fun or am I eating because it's giving me the energy to do? And now, all of a sudden, if I'm eating because it's giving me the energy to do these other things, then the quality of the food matters because the energy that I'm going to get and how long that energy is going to take me all of a sudden matters. You know, when we allow ourselves to eat junk, then all of a sudden, the energy that we're getting out of that food isn't the same. It's not taking us as long into the future. It's not affecting our body in that positive way that we know food can because we're eating less quality food and we're getting inflammation. We're getting potential cardiac things that will happen. So metabolic issues being created. We're increasing our weight. Then we're frustrated with ourselves because all of these negative things have happened and we're not able to live that life, but yet we called eating that food before living. It's a contradiction. I need you to see that contradiction and then act on it. Live your life and let getting out and doing things be living your life and allow eating food to be what it's supposed to be, fueling your body. I deserve it. That's the other thing is that we think we deserve to eat certain, and you know what? We, we deserve whatever we believe we deserve. Here's the thing I want to ask you. So if I tell myself, I deserve this piece of cake, and then I go and I eat that piece of cake, well, then doesn't that mean I also deserve any repercussions that came from eating that cake? If I do a bad action and I get a negative consequence, I have to accept that those two things went together. If I know that eating a healthy ketogenic lifestyle is helping me to feel better, healthy. It's helping me to feel strong. It's helping me to have less body aches. It's helping me to be able to achieve all the things in life that I want to achieve. But then I turn around and I let myself eat a lot of carbs because those foods taste fun. And what I'm actually saying is that my health is not as important as the taste of food. You know what? Good health takes work. And it means that I have to prioritize working on my health. It means that I need to look at every single meal as a building block towards tomorrow and the body violet's gonna live in tomorrow. And then every other meal after that is another building block towards the next day and the next day and the next day. I need to allow myself to understand that there's effort and energy and work involved in feeling healthy, living healthy, living till 90 to 95, 100 years old, I need to invest in my body in order to do that. Good health takes understanding my body. What does that mean? I need to understand how many carbohydrates my body can really manage safely without having to store some as fat, without increasing my inflammation levels, without creating potential metabolic issues. I need to understand how much exercise my body needs in order to be strong, in order to have enough muscle on me to allow me to live into my 90s, 95s, 100s. I need to understand how much water I need to be able to stay hydrated. I need to understand how much sleep I need. I actually need to understand this body that I'm using to get through my world, what helps it to feel its best and what takes away from it feeling its best. I actually need to understand those things. Good health takes sacrifice. Yeah, I'm saying it out loud. It takes sacrifice. When you want to be healthy, it means that you're not always doing what other people are doing. The same way that if you want to have a Fortune 500 million dollar company, you're not spending your money in the bars. You're not, right? Like if you, you have to take a decision at some point, you're not staying up all night with friends because you're working. If you want a healthy body, you actually need to sacrifice some stuff, right? And if the sacrifice that you happen to be making in the beginning is trying to learn to prioritize other flavors over the ones that you were used, then that's the sacrifice you need to make. Everything that's worthwhile having in life takes some level of work, some type level of energy, some level of sacrifice, right? Are you willing to put in the energy effort needed to feel the way that you want to feel, to look the way that you want to look and to be healthy the way that you say that you want to be healthy? You either believe that you're worth it or you don't. And that's just a harsh truth that we all need to take into consideration. It's one thing when you have somebody else out there in the world treating you poorly, because we can't control other people, but I can sure as heck walk away from somebody who's treating me like I'm not as important as they are. But guess what? 
if you're the person that's treating you poorly, and I'm suggesting to everybody watching this video, when you decide that food is more important than your health, you are treating yourself like garbage. And I'm trying to get people to stop doing that. Don't treat yourself like garbage. Treat yourself like the most important. So treat this body like the most important investment you're ever going to make. Feed it the best quality that you can. Give it the most amount of sleep that you can. The best water that you can. Energy and exercise that you can. Because if you treat yourself poorly, don't expect other people to treat you well, right? You need to prioritize working on you. And I know you can, but it takes that decision. Are you ready to make the decision to prioritize working on you? Are you ready to take the decision that the way that you eat actually matters for your future, your health, for your tomorrow? Because if you are, everything changes right now. If you take that decision right this moment, everything changes right now. I know, it changed for me. As soon as I took that decision and I moved forward, everything was different because every meal was about fueling me. Every meal continues to be about fueling me. Fun activities, fun with people, food is fuel. I really hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, subscribe, ring the bell, do the things, you know the drill. For all my wellness warriors, thank you so much for always coming by. If you think these videos have helped anyone improve their life, if they've helped you improve your life and would like to contribute to the production of the videos, go down to the description, my Patreon's down there. My links to my um, Amazon are down there. Two different ways to contribute. Thanks for coming by. Can I talk to you again next week?